Hi, I'm Hannah from Restoration London. So today I'm going to show you how to create a houndstooth pattern using a weave technique in your knitwear. Um, with this one, I'm using Wool in the Gang's Al Pacino Merino wool for this, but you can use any wool that matches your base. So you want to have it in the same thickness as what you're going to be working on. And then you're also going to need a darning needle. So this is a chunky, blunt needle um, with a big enough eye to fit your yarn through. And then you're just also going to need a pair of scissors as well for this. So now I'm going to be showing you the hound's tooth technique. And we're going to start off with your first colour. So I'm going to use this yellow and you're going to measure out roughly an arm's length. So now once you've threaded your needle, you're going to work into the fabric about a centimetre away from the hole. And this time we're going to be coming, instead of coming from behind the stitch, you're going to come through the front of your fabric. And you're just going to go in and out, under and over, with your needle going vertically. So you're coming through that stitch, over the top, and then through the stitch. And you'll do that until you reach the other end of the hole. And you can leave the thread hanging down to create tassels as well. So no need to weave your ends in at this point. And then you're going to come back the other way. So you're going to go under horizontally across. And in the same colour yarn, you're going to go under over alternating stitches into the fabric as well. Under over, pull it through and taking your yarn all the way across when you reach the hole, similar to with weave darning, and then in and out on the other edge of the fabric, the other side of the hole. And then when you come to meet the first strand, you can just chop it down so the tassels are equal lengths, and then you're ready to start your second colour. You can then take your second colour, re-thread the needle about an arm's length for this one as well. And then again, you're just going to repeat that exact same process, but in your second colour. So you're coming underneath the knit stitch, over the top, underneath. And when you reach the stitch that has the loop, you want to put your needle through that to stop the hole from unraveling and getting bigger and then pull that yarn across until it's roughly the same length as the first two tassels. Take it all the way across again across the hole and then coming back round in and out taking the thread across the hole. And you want your yarn, similar to the weave darning, to be almost touching so to keep it nice and compact. And here you can actually go in between those two knit stitches just to make it a tight weave. And then you'll just chop it down to the same length as the previous strand. And you'll repeat this until you've completely covered the hole. So once you've created your vertical strands for your houndstooth pattern, you want to then thread your first colour. And this time we're going to be stitching horizontally in and out of the fabric until we reach the hole. And then we're going to create that weave under and over pattern. And you're going to come through the back about just over a centimetre away from the hole and you want to go in line with where the hole starts along horizontally and you're going to pull your needle through 
And this time you, you're also going to leave a 10 cm tail. And here you're just going to go over the top of that knit stitch, under that knit stitch, over the top. And then when you reach the hole, again, you're going to be going under, over, under, over until you reach the other, the other side of the hole. And then you're going to come back on yourself. So here we can just go underneath to start the second row of stitching, alternating under, over, under, over, under, over the opposite stitches, pull it through. And you can always push it up with your fingers just to make sure that that is going to be nice and compact. And then you can just finish at the back of your work, ready to start the second colour. So you will always want your first row of weaving going across horizontally to be the same colour as how you started. So you'll leave the first colour tail long at the back. So once you've completed your blue row of stitching, you can pick this tail back up. So now you're going to take your second colour of your wool and you're going to come underneath. So starting at the back of your work again and in line with the knit from the second row. Pull it through. And again, you're just going to leave a 10 cm tail at the back to weave, weave in when you've finished. And you're just going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, alternating the stitches as you did before. And with your blue yarn, you're going to come back exactly as you did before with the yellow stitching. So you'll come back the other way, under, over, and you're going to finish at the back of your work, ready to pick up that blue when you're next ready to change colour. So you can leave that extra long tail at the back. So next you'll pick up your yellow yarn and continue alternating colours until you've finished the whole. So once you've finished your weave darning um, for the houndstooth pattern, it should look something like this. So you want to have it nice and compact across the hole. And then you'll have all of these ends at the back, which you can just weave in. So thanks for mending along with me where you have completed your houndstooth uh, weave darning, which hopefully it should be looking something like this with your tassels at the bottom. You can also check out the other mending videos that I've got on the Wool and the Gang YouTube channel.